Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to do a um, an acrylic set and I did this one for a Charlie's Nail Art collab and the theme was fruit. So yeah, let's get on with it. I've uh, pulled out um, a lovely yellow acrylic from Glitter Planets Nail Mate and it is called Buttercup. So on this one we're just gonna uh, fill in the from the like the free edge right the way down to the bottom of that nail. Apologies if you can hear any noise in the background. I've got my windows open because it's very hot in here. I'm going to leave that one just to uh, dry off and set. Right, uh, next one, I'm going to put the same colour on, but I'm just going to put on just like a wash. Very, very thin amount. So really dragging that brush down to thin that out and take off any I don't need. I think I did put a little bit more on that cuticle because it just didn't quite look the same. That's better. Um, I've taken all the uh, lemon <laughs> uh, fruit from their little FIMO pieces from uh, my Charlie's Nail Art FIMO bag. So some of them I have cut in half um, just to make them look like wedges. And what I'm doing is I've just popped a little bit of that um, crystal clear from Nail Mate. Um, just on that tip and I've just moved that one piece of lemon and put some underneath because uh, it was quite dry it was quite warm the day I did these so um, the acrylic was setting so fast I'm gonna fill that nail up and next up I've got the colour Perfect Pink, so this is a core colour, um, I'm going to just do that top half of that nail just on the nail bed and then bring it down over that buttercup colour. So it's not quite an ombre but it is a little bit, it just fades over the edge of that. And then I'm just going to leave that to set for a little while while I get this glitter out. Now I did pull this glitter out and as soon, my plan was to use it. But as soon as I put it on the nail, I regretted it because it was a different yellow and it just didn't go. So it was trial and error. I put it on and I gave it a little bit of a swish round and then realised I absolutely hated it and scraped it back off really quickly luckily I'd put it on with some clear acrylic and not directly on um, like into that buttercup color thankfully um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of clear on there and I'm just gonna pop uh, that slice of lemon and a wedge nice and easy Okay, this one, so on the ring finger, we're gonna put a uh, perfect pink again, just um, on that top part and just for the nail bed and then I've just faded it out. So I'm gonna leave like three quarters of it clear. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, crystal clear on there and put some of those lovely lemon pieces on again. moving them around a little bit and 
then I will leave that to dry. Okay, and the pinky is going to be a complete nail of buttercup. and I've left that to dry um, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of clear on and just add um, a little bit more of the lemon on those and then we're going to cap now I didn't build up the apex with the pink um, I thought I would do it with the clear only because that's the way I always do it so um, when you do this on top of FIMO you really need to try and get that clear in between those FIMO pieces you don't want to leave no gaps so what I'd actually done was I drained my bead out quite a bit and wedged that clear down between those FIMO pieces and I do the same on the middle finger as well. Well, on all of them really, but especially that middle finger because that's got quite a lot of lemon on it. Love the lemon. So, yes. I would hate to get to the point where I am filing and then when I realize I didn't put enough acrylic on <laughs> so I actually put more acrylic on this one this finger and then I would rather put more on and file it away because um, yeah there's quite a lot of lemon on there isn't there I went all out lemon I think I emptied the bag of lemon pieces <laughs> oh. I'm just into yellow at the moment I don't know what's wrong with me like everything is yellow Okay, dokey. I have uh, filed and buffed off camera to speed this up a little bit. Um, I'm putting some um, Venalisa tempered top coat on um, because I want to. Uh, well, I want them just nice and shiny. So we're going to put some little gems on, which I got from AliExpress, and some little silver rings which I think those came from LLKJ, no, LLKKJ uh, Glitter Company who are on uh, Instagram. 
and that ring finger I also off camera I do um, do behind so I do the underside to make it nice and clear right I'm gonna pop some top coat on that middle finger and I've got a little gold bee which I bought from Aliexpress a while ago um, I thought I would pop that on there I'm just going to sit that in the top coat um, because I'll take it back off once I've finished so I've popped a little bit of that tempered top coat on my palette and I've got some little um, gold uh, caviar beads but they're a little bit bigger than normal so all I'm doing there is flash curing them just to keep them in place so I'll put a little blob of that tempered top coat in pop the caviar bead in and then just flash cure it and then I did put them in for a full cure into my lamp and that is the set finished I hope you like them anyway um, I'm gonna leave at the end the themes for Charlie's nail art for next month so for June so please do pop over and take part the instructions of what you've got to do to take part are on the post now so please pop over and yeah come and join us and I will leave you my discount code on the screen and in the description box and I'll see you next time bye